So here we have a worked example of a forward rate agreement. Nero Company's cash flow forecast shows that it expects to borrow 2 million from Goodfellow Bank in four months time for a period of three months. So that borrowing is going to start in four months and last for three months. So therefore it will end in seven months. The company is concerned by the time the loan is taken out, the interest rates will have risen. The current interest rate is 5%. So they're happy with that rate and they'd like to fix that in by getting an FRA. Now, the way forward rate agreements work is you take out a forward rate agreement often with a different bank. And in this case, it's the Helpy Bank. So your contract is with Helpy Bank on the FRA, but you're going to take the loan out with Goodfellows Bank in four months time. We've now got to determine the cash flows if the interest rate when the loan is taken out is first of all 6.5% and then secondly we'll redo the cash flows if the interest rate falls to 4%. So what FRA is needed? Well remember the loan starts in four months time and lasts for three months. So the way FRAs are quoted is we use the start time and the end time. So the FRA would be a 4 to 7 FRA at 5% because it starts in four months, lasts for three months, so therefore it ends in seven. Let's now look at how the different cash flows work. Depending on whether we are looking at the interest rates rising to 6.5% or the interest rates falling to 4% in four months time. So first of all, 6.5%, what will happen is we will take out a loan with the Goodfellows Bank at 6.5% for three months. So 6.5% for three months, so we use three over 12, times by the two million. If you put that into your calculator, remember put in the 6.5% as a decimal of 0 0.065 times by three divided by 12 times by two million and you should get 32,500. That's what you're gonna to have to pay to Goodfellows Bank as interest on that loan of two million for three months. But because you've taken out an FRA with Helpy Bank, you will receive compensation for the fact that the interest rate is higher than the FRA rate at 5%. And how that works, is the compensation is the difference between the FRA rate at 5% and the interest rate on the loan, which is 1.5% for three months on the 2 million. And you receive compensation therefore of seven and a half thousand dollars. So the net amount therefore is 25,000 because you've paid out 32,500 in interest on the loan and received 7,500 in compensation on the FRA. Effectively, you fixed at 5%. Let's now have a look and see what would happen if the interest rates fall to 4%. So in the same way, we'll now be paying 4% for three months on the 2 million because the loan with Goodfellows Bank will now be at 4%, the lower rate. We will now therefore be paying 20,000 on the loan in interest payments. But we now have to work out what's going on with the FRA. Now, because we've got a lower interest rate than we fixed at with the FRA, we have to pay out to Helpy Bank. And again, we'll work it out based on the difference. So it's going to be five percent minus four percent times by three over twelve times by two million and this time we have to pay out five thousand to Helpy Bank and as you can see we paid out twenty thousand in interest on the loan and five thousand on the FRA so in total we have paid out 
25,000. Notice that is the same cash flow position as we were in part A. We again therefore have fixed the rate at 5%. So in both cases, the effective rate of interest to Nero on the loan is 5%. And you can calculate that by 25,000 over the 2 million times by 12 over 3, which gives us 5%. If interest rates fall, they may wish they had not entered into the FRA because they wouldn't have had to pay Helpy Bank 5,000. However, remember the purpose of the FRA is to provide certainty, not to guarantee the lowest possible cost of borrowing. So it's an obligation, you can't get out of it. So if interest rates fall, you can't take advantage of that gain because you fixed your rate with the FRA. It's actually the interest rate equivalent of forward exchange contracts. Thank you for listening.